In other news, over 50 students of Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology have been left homeless after the apartment they were staying in was brought down after it developed cracks. The students lost their belongings and are currently being hosted at the institution hostels. One student is said to have sustained minor injuries. The five-story building located at Juja area of Kiambu County is said to have developed cracks on Sunday morning after a sewerage system was dug inside two weeks ago, weakening its foundation. Children are said to have alerted the occupants of the building of the danger lacking in their midst, leading to immediate evacuation. <laughs> Hours later, the building was brought down safely by officers from the National Building Inspectorate in collaboration with county engineers. The occupants of the building, mostly students from JQuat, watched helplessly as their belongings were reduced to rubble. According to one of the students, only a female student whose door was locked suffered minor injuries as she struggled to leave the house through the window. Affected students have been hosted inside the institution hostels with efforts ongoing to help them start life afresh. Somebody like me now, I'm left, I'm left with nothing. But I get to continue with my studies in Jaquat. So my my six six thousand seven hundred and forty. As a, as a deposit. In real sense, I turn this idea. I have nothing. I have no clothes. I don't have that place to spend in. Every student who resided or who is residing in this building, I'm a potato killer key to Yake. It can it cannot be recovered. And we are looking forward to towards ensuring that these students they will not start from zero. And we are calling upon every stakeholder. And I wish to upon at this moment to approach the governor, Governor Nyoro, MP, MP Koimbori, the MCA, Kamraj, to come and assist us in, what, in whatever way they can. The increase in such cases has been blamed on greedy developers, hiring unqualified contractors and failing to follow requisite building processes. Lance Lunchtime news.